James Steinhubel here on TVU, the community channel, with Glenda Sheard, Community Connector with 360 Alberta. How are you doing today, Glenda? Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here with you today, James. Certainly, certainly. It's, it's great. Uh, 360 Alberta, we're big fans at, uh, at TVU. So how, how are you guys uh, adjusting? You know, from what I watch, you guys are, yeah, you're multimedia, but you're, you move in a group and a team and you're hands on. So bang, it's all virtual. How are you adjusting? Well, it's, it's been interesting. It, there, of course, it's been a little bit, no, a little bit, a lot more challenging because of what's been going on with, with COVID-19 and self-isolation and social distancing. Um, but we've got a great team at 360, very creative and innovative ladies. So wherever we could grab a moment to, to get some coverage for 360, that's what we've been doing. Excellent. So there must be lots of things that you guys are interested in uh, in covering. You know, uh, any any hints of what of what's coming up? Is any any anything you can share? Uh, no, because I haven't had the opportunity. I only know where I'm going to go. Oh, okay. But we haven't, because of course we haven't been able to meet as a team. Everything's okay. been via text or email or you know sending stuff. So it'll be great when we can get together and meet and be able to have a, a focused plan on what we're doing, right? But then good. you look at, you just look at everything differently and you look for opportunities. That's good. That's good. So let's, let's just double back for everybody and, you know, maybe, you know, give a little bit of background on uh, where you are and where you come from and how you uh, got going with uh, 360 Alberta and just exactly what you do so that we can get a context for the next uh, group of questions that I have. Okay, thanks, James. Um, I've been living in uh, Strathcona County for over 30 years. And of course, a long time ago, I met an amazing woman, Jackie Fenske. And so Jackie and I've had the opportunity to do a lot of different things, whether it's judging at 4-H or when we were involved with, have been involved with Northlands and various community events. Uh, and then Jackie had asked me, uh, I don't know, several months ago, you know, I, I, you're so involved in community where we're looking for somebody to be able to cover some of the um, great things that are happening in Sherwood Park in Strathcona County. And I'm like, all oh, right, because I come from a media background, radio background, and also I'm a speaker. So it gives me the opportunity to uh, cover community that I love very, very much and to be able to utilize my skills and work to improve my skills um, with regards to media relations and promoting the community. So what, what, do, you, what do they have you doing then in, with, uh, with 360 Alberta? What are you doing day to day? How does, you, how does it work with you? Uh, well, like I say, it's been, it's, it's been a little slower because I haven't been going out a lot. Uh, an example, uh, last week, the Sherwood Park Farmers Market is now open from two to five on Wednesdays in Emerald Hills. Uh, and so I went out to cover that. And of course, a lot of people were like, wow, I didn't know that. Well, great, watch 360. And it's amazing what you're going to find out about what we're covering, right? I got to interview, um, oh, when the Friends of Strathcona County Library Society were doing a fundraiser, I got to do a fabulous interview with one of their board members, Ken Glover. So again, for me, it's, it's community. And now, as things open up, like I say, I'm looking forward to because I spent a lot of time at home and at home you really can't, you know, it's like, hi, I'm in my pajamas. This is Glenda for 360. <laughs> I don't think so. Right. I hear you. I hear you. So, you know, you have, um, you've got a, a, a well-trained um, set of skills. You're a, uh, you're a trained uh, public speaker, but you're also a trained uh, certified uh, coaching professional. So what of your training there, I guess the public speaking too, because you're summoning yourself to the moment to share ideas, but from your coaching training, 
what are you relying on and what did you rely on to, to get through the shock of COVID and, you know, the stall of it or, you know, the anxiety of it now the get going of it? What, what, what kind of coaching resources are you using personally? What a great question. And thanks for answering that. Um, for me, there's been a lot of wisdom. We, there's so much that we have learned through everything that we, you know, adaptability, patience. Think about, I think about this every day. If I get into a car or I go into Safeway and I go, okay, Glenda, you've got to remember that if, you know, that person's going the wrong way against the arrows that you don't freak out on them because we don't know what's going on in that person's pushing that grocery cart or somebody cuts you off in traffic again you don't know what's going on so i've learned a lot of more about being patient with others and then it's like okay in turn that has to come within myself as well right because i've been frustrated i've watched some of my colleagues professional speakers and they're doing all kinds of awesome stuff and i'm going oh my god i'm still trying to learn how to share screen on zoom right and and so patience um kindness for others as well as kindness for for myself and taking because this has been like we're all, as far as I'm concerned, we're all heroes. Seriously. Every human being has been impacted by the pandemic, right? And we've been forced to into isolation. And as humans, we need to be connected. And they tell you, you have to stay connected, but stay home, right? So um, yeah, patience and kindness and how resilient we all are. That's, that's good. That's good. You also have, uh, you know, a, a large or, you know, long background of team building, you know, in, uh, in business and in community. What, what are you, what are you seeing, you know, what, what kind of recommendations or what are you seeing on the get up and go on the team building side? What are the first two or three things people should be looking at? Well, moving forward, I believe that, um, when I say moving forward, we, I believe that we've got to be cautious because we've got so many different variables for people, individuals. There are people that are going, I can't wait to get back to work and write and get to my desk and get out and see my clients. And then we've got other people going, you know, I'm really kind of freaked out a man about going outside right um we've we've gone through through so much so we move i believe we have to be cautious but also we have been given a second chance to be better better as individuals better as small medium large businesses business um better in our communities because again we faced things that we have never ever faced before and i think that this is going to give us many many more opportunities you look at i don't know what the numbers were on zoom before covid19 but i wish i'd bought stocks in zoom because i i'm sure it went like from 10 million to 300 billion or something like that right we've had grandmas and grandpas and aunties and uncles that have never been on Zoom. They didn't even know what Zoom was. And we've had family gatherings, right? So I believe that we need to be cautious, mindful of, of what has occurred, but look forward with positivity because I believe that we have um, so much opportunity to make a difference differently. And, and you know, just before uh, you know, we let you go, you've been, you've been in this community for, for decades. You know, you, you recognize young people because you knew their parents and grandparents. They don't even know that you know them and you know them, right? So, you know, hundreds of people. So, and as a coach and as a, uh, as a, and a community connector, you know, someone who's into, uh, you know, servant leadership and compassionate to moral, what can you share with our viewers that are, you know, us as people, we're, we're neighbors, we, we grew up with you. What can you, sh what can you share with us that would, would be helpful? 
Wow, what a question. For me personally, James, um, I grew up in the city of Edmonton and then moved out to rural Strathcona County. And of anything that I can say that has been made the biggest difference in my life is community. People have reached out to me and supported me through times in, that um, I, I can't even get into right now. Um, the people that we have, again, I, every community has amazing people, but in Strathcona County, you know, I encourage people. It used to be called, I think it's called the Awards of Excellence now. It used to be the Pride of Strathcona. And I've had the opportunity to go to every year for many, 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 for decades. And if you go, you, I, I just like, why don't I know about that kid? Why didn't I know that that senior was making dolls for children in Africa, right? We have, we are, we are blessed in Strathcona County and in Sherwood Park with um, so many people that are making a difference in, in, in just so many ways that, that we don't know about. And so again, community for me is, um, has been my greatest treasure since I moved to Strathcona County. Glenda Sheard, Community Connector, 360 Alberta with me, James Steinhubel on TVU on the Community Channel. Thank you so much, Glenda, and we'll see you again for sure in one of these, but we'll look forward to your reports. They're awesome. Thanks so much. It's, it's been a blast being here with you today, James. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Bye now. And take care, stay safe, and stay healthy.